Hi, my name is Taryn Rule and I'm a computer science dropout. This video is about why I dropped out of computer science. In a broader context, I wanna shed light on the fact that it's okay and perfectly normal actually I had to go into university studying a field that she thought she wanted to do and end up absolutely hating it. But every story starts with a beginning though. So here's mine. In grade 10 of 2013, I came across two videos. Number one, a video titled, What Most Schools Don't Teach. This video is quite the inspiring one. It totally swayed me to give this field a shot because it was all about how computer science was in demand and how it is the thing to learn uh, going into the future. Number two, I watched this amazing video from Steve Jobs. It was a speech that he gave at Stanford University and there was one line that really stood out to me which was, stay hungry, stay foolish. On the back cover of their final issue was a photograph of an early morning country road, the kind you might find yourself hitchhiking on if you were so adventurous. Beneath it were the words, stay hungry, stay foolish. Now, when you fast forward to grade 12, when it's time to decide what you want to study in university, me, I had no freaking idea. I know people take a year off to find themselves, but I was really worried that if I did that, that I would waste the entire year doing nothing. So I decided that I'm gonna be going to university no matter what, and I'm gonna take a chance. I'm just gonna go with the flow and just have an open mind uh, to a field that I think that I would be interested in. All through high school, I exclusively took math and science-based classes. Given that, I didn't know much about business or arts or anything like that. I really only knew science and math and computers. I knew that I wanted to get a job within the STEM field um, and within that field the computer science just happened to be the one that stood out to me the most. And that one actually stood out to me because I remember that video that I watched in grade 10 uh, where they talked about computer science and they talked about the importance of the skill and how it's in demand right now. Anyway, fast forward to university, fast forward to my second semester of computer science in first year at the University of Guelph. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it so much. I couldn't really describe it at the time. It, it was just like this feeling of emptiness. Every time I went to class, I would dread, I would dread going to class. It took everything I had to go to all my computer science classes. It took everything in my might. Uh, to do my homework. And the thing is, it wasn't because I was lazy, it just really felt like everything that I was learning, I, I didn't care. Like I just, I did not care uh, what the professor was saying in all the lectures. I was really annoyed at the time, I felt like I was so off the mark and I couldn't believe that I made such a huge, huge mistake, or at least what felt like a mistake at the time uh, when it came to choosing computer science as a degree to study. For people that are in my position, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I felt. I just, I felt so lost. I, I felt like uh, it was like impossible to switch majors. I felt like, you know, I wasted all my money on my first year because first year is arguably the most expensive year in terms of residence, in terms of study and textbooks. And the thing is, I went to all my friends for advice. I spoke to everybody that I could possibly speak to and every single one of them told me to just stick with it. Every single one of them told me that um, you gotta give it more time, give it a chance, don't give up. And at the end of the day, they were being good friends because at least they were keeping me motivated and not telling me just to give up when the going was getting tough. But at the end of the day, your friends don't really know you. You know what I mean? They don't know what's in here. And the whole time that they were telling me all these things, it just, it felt like so right. It felt so right about the thoughts of dropping out of computer science. Like I, would, I would ponder and ponder and ponder and think about it every single day. And whenever I would think about it, it's like, yeah, like that's such a great choice, Taryn. Like, why don't you just do that? And then my friends would tell me, no, 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 no. Like, don't do that, da, 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 da. And then it would like kind of put me back in that mode of thinking that, yeah, you know, Taryn, you're an idiot. Why would you do that? Don't give up. Don't quit. One day in January of 2016, when I was in a computer science class, it it just hit me. It was literally one of those moments where it was just like a eureka or like a oh my god type moment. So I got up, I left the classroom. Within minutes, I'm talking like two minutes, I dropped every single one of my computer science classes. It was pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. It was. 
it was a very, very spearheaded, gung-ho decision. Like it just it hit me all at once. I took that information and I just went with the flow and I just ran with it. Most importantly, it felt right. And that's kind of what I want you guys to remember. As much as your friends and family wanna help you when it comes to deciding what major you should choose, they aren't you at the end of the day. They don't know what's going on in here. And it, it, it truly makes a huge difference if you just go with what feels right. Like what feels right to you, regardless of what everybody else is saying. Because after I dropped computer science, after I was finally out of that heck of a mess, of a, of a program, not because the program was bad, but it wasn't right for me. Um, things got things got so much better, so much better. So now let's fast forward. I am in my fourth year of economics and finance. I finally found a degree that I like, that I have some passion for, and that when I'm actually sitting in my classes, my ears perk. I'm interested in what the professor is saying. Sometimes, or actually a lot of the times, whatever the professor talks about, I research on my own time. I have like, intrinsic motivation to learn more about economics, finance, I, I have all those things. Now I'm happy, I'm a financial advisor at a big bank in Canada, TD Canada Trust. It's crazy, and the thing is, do I regret choosing computer science? No, not a chance, I don't regret it. Thing is, um, I would have never have known if I didn't like computer science unless I tried it. And, and I think people need to be okay with failing. Like, you really need to be okay with that. Because unless you try it, you don't know if you're gonna like it. People these days put so much into the fact that if you try something and you suck, you're doing something wrong. No, you're not. If you tried something and it didn't work, then learn from it and say, well, okay, is this something that's really for me? If not, let it go. At least now you know that you tried it and you didn't like it. You don't have to be 80 years old and look back and think, damn, I wish I uh, joined that soccer team. Anyway, my name is Taryn. Drop a like down below if you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're brand new to my channel and comment down below if you have any feedback, but I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.